super huge quality resin miniatures for itty bitty prices. We're taking a look at Artel Miniatures newest releases for their resin line. They just put out a whole bunch of miniatures and they have a little squad in here that I really think looks cool. So today we are, this is how they come packaged if you buy a bunch of miniatures, very well in a little bubble pack and the whole package is sealed with brown wrapping paper and there's an, a literal wax stamp on it with twine and everything. It's very, very cool. It's a very cool out of box experience. We're gonna look at the Enforcers set of four miniatures. The add on Wolfie or little mechanical dog. And then we've got Jack Meinhardt. <laughs> oh, that name is not safe for work, but it is German, so I guess it's okay. And the brand new Katarina miniature, of course, you can't tell what any of this is because it's in little bubble envelopes. And last but certainly not least, Jessica Steelneck Brooder. First up, we'll take a look at their new Enforcer pack. And of course, I'll show you where you can get all these great miniatures. There's five little minis in here and then they come with an accessory pack of uh, different heads. Uh, there's gun pistol, holstered pistols, and uh, some sort of crowd control baton of some sort. Each one comes with multiple weapons. You get some sort of carbine gun as well as a shoddy variant here which i think is pretty neat but overall they're pretty easy to put together you got your your basic model body you've got your two different weapon options and the arms to go with them as well we zoomed in a little bit more for you just to show you how awesomely detailed these really are and i am genuinely impressed uh the scale is incredible i mean these are true not heroic these are true 28 millimeter figures so they're a little bit smaller than what you're used to but definitely on par with like guardsmen the styling's cool they got the body armor with like the padding and each one has the little sockets with triangles so it won't you know kind of pop out so it's very easy to put in there and then the i like the shoulder pad deal with the little fist on it so very cool very got that necromunda arbitize kind of look right there and it locks in and then it forms a two-part system which you can use this shoddy again very well detailed look at that railing and everything on it or this carbine gun right here very very cool looking with some sort of was that a drum a drum magazine got some cool looking optics up there and then there's different choices like i said and i'll show you when we put one together there's helmeted head and a non-helmeted head. There's a pistol that goes right here and a little uh, stun crowd control baton that attaches right here. But that's a whole different pack that I don't wanna open and accidentally lose anything before I start assembling them. So there's four of these guys, or excuse me, three of these guys, plus one heavy weapon, like a rotor cannon type deal. And we'll show you that when we check out their site here in a few. Next up is Jack we'll call him Captain Blood. <laughs> that name's just so, so silly. You guys, Artel, you, you silly folk. We know what that means. <laughs> so Captain Blood here, uh, great looking miniature. I can't wait to get him put together. I mean, he obviously isn't that many pieces. We got a head, we've got uh, a chainsaw arm and a Gatler pistol. Who the heck walks around with a Gatler pistol? I don't know, but apparently this guy looking fresh all this uh flash has to come off here so use some uh good clippers to make sure you clean all that off but i mean otherwise it's just very well done miniature again true scale 28 not that heroic this is going to be a little bit smaller but we'll compare them to some stuff here when we get them together jessica steel neck brooder is is a very tiny figure of course this is again True scale 28, so don't worry about that. But you can tell she is she is very small. She's gonna go together and be about normal size, but because her torso and legs are separate, it's a little deceptive. But you know she is a lady, so traditionally, you know, compared to a male, the, the stature overall is a little bit smaller. So this makes sense. A couple different weapon options here. Actually, no, this is all the way it's supposed to be. So this is gonna look very interesting once we get it together. Like I said, it is very small, so I'm a little bit concerned that we line everything up right and we don't have any 
any bad scenes, but you can tell from up there, the detail looks great. You know, all the stuff going on with uh, the whole dress and the clasps and the boots, wrappings around the boots and such. It all looks very good, like very well detailed. Rotator head here, give you kind of a better idea. But yeah, very, very crisp, but very well done detail. Resin is just the way to go when it comes to this stuff. And last but certainly not least is Katarina with her impressive wingspan and myriad of parts. I can tell opening this and trying to show you will just be folly. So what we're gonna do is put her together and show her to you first on the flip side. As promised, we have toiled away and assembled Katarina. I say toiled, but actually it wasn't that bad at all. Uh, this went together a lot more, a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be given its size. I mean, you can tell this is a, a smaller-esque figure, but on par with, you know, St. Celestine or her Gemini Yin Yang twins. You know, this is an incredibly more detailed version of both of those, just because of the fact that it's in resin. But I mean, you have options for a flaming sword. Here's some of the other uh, options that were in there. There's a different chest plate, a more traditional kind of Joan of Arc kind of chest plate, which I really thought was cool. A whole different head with a more uh, maybe mechanical eye type deal. I'm not selling this very well, sorry. It's hard to hold these and show you. A traditional kind of, what is that, a claymore broadsword type deal. Uh, another dove that you could swap out with the hand that has a little kind of uh, mohawk hair type deal. A pistol and a shield that could go on her back if you didn't want to assemble the sci-fi kind of version here. But this one together, swimmingly, I was very impressed. Not only with the quality, but the design of the figure itself and how everything just had a spot for it. Uh, you can use the, the website as a, a little bit of reference, but that's all I did. I just pulled up a picture and everything just kind of, uh, you know, assembled itself there really for the most part. So this is a very intriguing figure and I could see a lot of players, especially with the Sisters of Battle coming out for Warhammer 40K in the next year, uh, picking this one up for themselves to use in their games as whatever counts as miniature you may want. Captain Blood is here and he looks awesome. This would make a great company commander for pretty much any guard army out there. Look at that, look at that freaking pistol. It's a Gatling pistol, how dope is that? Exquisite design all the way around from the fur down the back. I mean, this is stuff that you see that painted and you're like, wait, what? But now it just comes like that. So it's like painting by numbers. It's, it's an incredible miniature. I absolutely love that guy. If I didn't play Death Corps myself, he would be my next company commander. And then Steel Neck, old Steel Neck here. I assembled her a little bit differently than what she's shown pose wise. And I thought this little servitor up here was going to be the pits. It turned out it worked very easily. Again, genuinely impressed by the design of Artel W's figures here. They go together great. You have a little bit of uh, wiggle room for a couple different poses. Like this is more of a just drew her sword as opposed to a kind of a at the ready that you might see on the website that I'm about to show you. I really like that one. And now these two, now I didn't assemble all of the enforcers, but I mean, come on, I am the law. <laughs> Look at this guy, so fresh. There's the crowd control baton all the packs and accessories, the pistol holstered. Look at that dope shoulder pad. Even this one's pretty dope too, with the little spikes. All the padding, everything you would come to expect. Does have the variant shoddy, which we didn't assemble, and does have uh, alternate heads for all of the miniatures right there without a helmet. I don't know why you go in battle without a helmet. Now I didn't assemble all five of those miniatures, but we do have Mr. Wolfie. Look at this guy. He's so cool. Now this is a 25 mil base, but man, it's really cool to have a little mechanical dog that's easy to find and just looks so fresh and like it belongs on a tabletop in the far future, where there is perhaps only one. And just to give you an idea about scale, well, there it is. You can tell 28 millimeter heroic, true 28. They definitely look like they would they could or would fit inside of that armor right there and then everybody's newest favoritist big brother the primaris space marine 
dwarfs all of them, so they're not. We already kind of expected that, I suppose. Although Wolfie might might give him might give him a run for his money. So where can you find all these wonderful miniatures at to purchase? You might ask. Well, artelw.com is your mostly one-stop source for all things Imperial and maybe some things a little bit more chaotic. Haven't got my hands on this bust yet, but they have all those great 28 millimeter figures I just showed you there. Actually, we don't have the Witch Hunter yet. Hmm, that's a pretty cool one. So Katarina is a very wallet-friendly $22.99. Steel Neck and Captain Blood, $15.99 and $14.99 respectively. I think they have a bundle for that one as well. Don't have these two commanders right here either, but they look uh, just as fresh as well. And go back here. There's the Gothic bundle, so you save a little bit. Law Enforcement Unit, these guys, woo, look at that minigun. How cool is that? Wow, look at that thing. So one of these is the one we assembled. I think it was this one right here. Yeah, on the right. You got dude at the ready. A couple of other interesting poses. And this guy just getting ready to light them up with a little mini gun. And it's got the feeds and everything. Let's see. Can we switch? No, I don't think we can switch. There isn't a 360 option. Oh, there it is. So two different weapon ends there. And obviously an alternate head. That looks like he's having way too much fun. So $49.99 for the five miniatures. Again, a great value. Lots and lots of resumes. Low, low price. That's why I love these guys. We've been showcasing them for the past year or so. And there's Wolfie the Cyber Dog. Wolfie. I love this guy. Ever since I first saw him, I was like, oh, that's fresh. Gotta have that. $11.99 for this fella. I mean, just incredible looking miniatures. Overall, and the fact that they are very, very affordable. Shipping's not that bad. It comes in about two weeks. Uh, it's going to be coming from Eastern Europe, of course, but we all know that by now. Uh, haven't had any problems come. Like I said, the out-of-box experience is amazing with the little wax seal and the twine and the paper. It's all very, very cool. Uh, I love these guys. Great to see another resin boutique miniature company doing so well out there. It bodes very well for our hobby, so make sure you give them your support. Think about any of those miniatures we just showed you or browse their site. Uh, the link will be below in the comments, of course. So make sure you check them out. Tell them Spiky Bits sent you.